Hey guys, welcome back to another follow-up video. Today, I got a suggestion by one of my subscribers saying I should do a video uh, about pricing stuff in Fallout 76, and that's exactly what I'll be doing in this video. Uh, so first, let's go with... Um, uh, we're Oh, I don't have them anymore. I was going to do the, the chems first, but... I Yeah, I did a little bit of upgrading to my base, and I kind of... Yeah, I don't have them anymore. We'll do um, plans first. So pretty much, uh, what I do is if the value is a hundred on a plan, I usually put it to fifty uh, caps. But for example, if we're at away, if it's like three hundred, obviously I want to make a profit out of it, and the reason why the value is 300 but I put it at 700 caps is because people are going to be like yeah I really want this and they're going to do everything they can to get it um, <laughs> uh, stim pack as well it should be 500 but I made it a little higher and plus you never know who's willing to pay uh, what amount of money uh, same with the mods. I put them a little higher. Some of them are 25. Some of them are different prices. But I like to put my mods at uh, 25. And um, sometimes plans that cost a lot more. Like a thousand caps. Sometimes I'll lower them down. Just so that way people don't have to pay too much. Um, but I don't have any good ones anymore. Because I got... I sold a bunch of stuff today. Um, yeah, so basically, you want to make a profit, but you don't want to make things like a cheap price, if that makes sense. Uh, recipes, I like to put them down. Um, you know, like food. Food recipes, I like to put them down to 15 caps. You know, just so that way... Um, I never imagined that I would <laughs> my NPC's talking in the background and it's, and it's really distracting um, I like to put them at 15 caps so that way people like level 5s or people who are starting off can come here and buy them that doesn't cost too much um, I have quite a lot of plans to sell plus in my inventory yeah Anyways, let's move on to legendary weapons. Now, you don't have to have legendaries. You could do just normal. Uh, let's talk about the ammo first, actually. Missiles, I like to put them at 10 because the value is 25 caps. Um, plasma cores, again, the value is 159, but I like to put them down lower. Just so that way, you know, people can come back if they want. Um, but the rest of the ammo I like to put at one cap. Because plus, here's the thing. If you put it at one cap for, let's say, 10 millimeter rounds. You're going to be like, well, uh, I won't be getting enough out of it. But, but if I do this, right, people will pay that amount. 123 caps. Right, and you will probably get 123 caps. So, that's good. <laughs> if that makes sense. Sorry, I'm not really good at explaining things, so bear with me here. Um, but yeah, try to go with ammo that people are um, using. Like, the most common ammo that people use. Uh, I don't have 45s anymore, but try to do like 5 millimeters and... I don't think people buy arrows. I don't know. Um, but yeah, stuff like that. Let's move on to weapons. Now, this is where it gets interesting. <laughs> so, when you sell legendary weapons, you want to look at the legendary. Like, uh, the legendary stats. For example, this one does lower damage, uh, damage resistance, increases damage dealt. Um... 
Let me let me think about what that means. Um, okay, so let's say this isn't. To me, this isn't like super great. So I did put it at a hundred. That way, I can make a profit, right? Um, again, you could put it at any amount you want. Just don't do, for example, something like this is not worth a thousand caps or anything above two hundred. <laughs> Um, I did customize this. It used to be just the normal sh shepherd's hook or crook. Um, I know I feel like it's not really worth spending a lot of money, so I just put it to uh, 53 caps, and the value is 109. But y again, you can do whatever you want, whatever you feel like is best. Um. And Norris, 50% of your target's armor. This is not bad. This is good. Uh, it could be a lot better if you have um, a 3-star with different ones on it. But for a low-level weapon, this is actually good. So I would probably... Ooh, I would probably charge this. Well, here's the thing. It's a level 15, and I want people to have it that are low-level. So I might charge them maybe... I would probably charge them maybe a hundred and I think a hundred and thirty five I think that's a good price again we want to look at the what type of um legendary it has on it um see this is not great this is not too good um I'm sure you can customize it to do more damage but um Plus 30% damage to Mylers and Bugs. Usually stuff like this, I'll just go to the, um... Uh, that Mole Miner that sells you... I don't know. Um, I think it's called the Rusty Pick, that legendary store in the map. Uh, anyways, yeah. This is probably worth... Hmm... I don't think it's really worth selling, but I think it's probably worth maybe 60-something caps, maybe 70. Uh, final word, I don't plan on really selling that right now. I might give it away to a friend or something. Um, but this is really good, obviously. It ignores 50% of your target's armor, 25% fast, or faster fire rate, and plus 250 damage resistance while reloading. That is... I think that's probably worth like a couple thousand. <laughs> a couple thousand should do that. Um, again, I'll probably customize this for somebody level five. This is really good. This is a good one for a low level weapon like this. I would probably charge them. Again, we want to make a profit. We want to try to make that value higher than it already is. So I think maybe. Ooh, gosh, maybe you got to remember a lot of people don't have caps when they first start out. So maybe thirty-five caps. Um, this is really good as well. That's probably worth. This is mine that I use. I really like it a lot. Um, I would say maybe 600. Well, actually, either 600, 650, or 700. Around that. I know you guys are probably thinking, this guy's crazy. H you know, he's selling his stuff so cheap. Well, the thing is, I, I like doing it cheap because that way people have what they want. But I'm also making a profit. Um... This I'll be giving away to my brother soon. Uh, this is really good. I got this doing the um, uh, radiated fever or whatever that mission is called. Uh, bullets explode for area damage plus 250 damage resistance while reloading. Damage increase after each 
hit on the same target. Yes, it's really good. Um, yeah, that's worth a couple thousand. Um, I also got this for my brother, but I might give him this instead. Because this is not... The animal's damage is not that great. <laughs> um, this is good. This is what we want. This is makes the value of it. Um, I would say maybe less than a thousand, maybe a thousand, maybe just under nine hundred, since it does uh, bullets explode or area damage. Um. Four percent more power attack damage, plus thirty percent damage to animals. Uh, the bond wasn't that great. This is okay. I would say maybe if you wanted to sell this, I think I could customize it. I'm not sure, but I would sell it for a hundred and maybe a hundred fifty. Moving on, I got this recently. Uh, it's okay. You know, again, we want to look for this here when you're selling legendaries. It's, it could be better. I would probably sell this less than 80. 80 caps, probably like 65, 70. Maybe less. Pumpkin grenades, I did that for the pumpkin house thing um i got this while doing the wastelanders quest i don't plan on giving it away but obviously this is really good i would sell oh yeah i would definitely sell this for either 900 or a few thousand a few thousand probably mm. And we also want to look at the damage as well, but the damage doesn't really matter, I don't think. That kind of sounds stupid. <laughs> uh, anyways. Um, um, I would say maybe... 750-800 caps and the last one is a uh, yeah this isn't really good it's good for low levels but it's not really good I never imagined that I would share a home with uh, I would probably sell this for maybe 90 caps maybe 80 okay I think we covered every weapon I have so far. Let's move on to armor. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I don't have any legendary armor because somebody recently just came to my store and bought a lot of stuff. Um, oh no, here's one. So you see how I lowered the price because I don't think it's worth buying something like this that does, you know, damage uh, or negative 15 damage from milers and bugs. I don't think somebody should pay that much. So I might lower it down just a bit. I think 145 caps is a bit too much. So I think... I think around 60 70 for it. I think that would be a lot better of a price to go for. Um, you know, stuff like this that is not common to get. Uh, again, we want to make a profit, so I, I put these at 30 caps. Even though the, the value is 11, but I still want to make a profit and um, the reason why these are so high is because they're they're 
for low levels is hard to get so uh, these masks I got look how many masks I got um, I'm gonna put these up for sale as well soon uh, I probably will make them higher but I think 25 cats is good because you never know somebody just like today I had somebody came came in and he bought almost all of it that was on sale so I got this while doing the um, Vault University quest. You know, you do that little vault simulator thing, and I found that on the shelf. Value is twenty-two. I try. I'm trying to sell it for sixty. I might lower it because nobody has really touched it. I think I, I'll probably put it up for either thirty-five or forty caps. Hazmat suits. Hazmat suits are good because right there. Un, of course, it doesn't have any damage resistance, or but it has a a thousand radiation resistance. I think so. It's like people won't really buy it. I don't think so. Yeah, we'll just skip that one. Fire breather. I like to keep these because. You know, in case if my group needs them, I'll keep this one. <laughs> I'll be selling these. Again, like, clothing shouldn't cost too much unless it's legendaries. Oh, here's a legendary. So the value is 105. Damage resistance, energy, 3684. Um... Blend in with the environment while sneaking and not moving. That's okay. That's not bad. Um, how much am I selling it for? Let's check. Oh, nothing yet. So I'll probably, I'll probably sell this for. Uh, you guys might call me crazy, but I'll probably sell this for. You know what? I think a hundred and ten will probably do good, or maybe a hundred and twenty. 115 around that around that um you can get these in the sorry she's just constantly talking in my ear uh you can get these at the shop in the enclave bunker i would probably sell these for um let's see the hat I would probably sell for 30 something and then you the uniform itself I would probably charge around oh, maybe a hundred probably 25 like the rest 25 all of these masks 25 maybe higher I just got this so I don't plan on selling it here's another legendary uh, it's another stim pack one. I would probably sell this for. I mean, again, that's not really good, but. Uh, again, you never know who's willing to pay one amount, so I would probably charge. I would try to charge around. Either seventy to close to a hundred. I got two of these now. Yeah, I would probably charge a good amount of money for them. Uh, probably like... Um, maybe a little lower than 200. Uh, you get these... Oh god, I forgot what type of mission it was. Uh, I think it was called Crypt or something like that. You get, you get these doing the mission. Again, again you want to like sell stuff that people will be interested in like for example this or the white fedora which you get in the, the mission I just talked about uh, this is no longer available but yeah sell stuff that people are interested in and be like whoa I never seen this before and, or I never had it before or or let's say if s some other person went to somebody else's a shop and they're like damn I can't get this because it's way too much money 
and they go to your camp and they see you selling the same thing but a little cheaper and I guarantee you they're gonna buy your stuff because it's a little cheaper um, but the price I would sell this for is probably like close to 200 <laughs> I got this while doing the wastelanders update I think I got it in under the graft and steel that little dungeon where you have to do the the thing with the kid uh, so I just randomly found this I'm like alright I'll take this I don't plan on selling it I'm trying to get the whole set if I can but I would probably sell this for a few hundred and that's pretty much it so basically the point is is sell stuff that people have not seen before or you know sell stuff that's legendary you know if you get what I mean um, what else can I say what else can I ooh, let me drink some water uh, what else can I give you guys as a tip oh right food <laughs> now I've seen people charge a good couple thousand of, of caps like here's the thing I I think I have a picture somewhere on my phone or on my PC if I don't then just take my word for it but I've seen somebody charge purified water for like a thousand caps each no <laughs> you should never charge that much for water uh, usually I'll charge like maybe five caps for it you know per bottle you know you can charge whatever you want I'm not gonna judge you but please don't charge something like this for a thousand you know per purified water the same with food I mean food should be cheap but again you want to make a profit so you know don't put this for like 20 30 caps you know put it like under 10 or just a little bit over uh, chems like stim packs usually I'll sell stim packs for I think 10 caps should be good for stim packs um, I doubt people sell junk but if you're gonna sell junk do whatever you want um, I'm just gonna put my ammo in here Uh, what else can I say? Um, is there anything else I can... I don't think I have anything else. Um, I really hope this video helped and again I'm not too great at explaining things so uh, hopefully you understood what I'm trying to say. It's you know basically if you want to be able to make caps right don't sell things that are like over the top like don't sell something that's not worth like 20,000 caps like don't do that you know you want to make a profit but also make things cheap not too cheap but you know that way people can buy them and let me show you how much caps I got in just like two three months like I used to have like uh, I think like 4,000 caps, 6,000, and now I'm at like close to 2,500. Um, 25,000 caps, yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, hopefully this helped you. Uh, again, I'm not good at explaining things. Uh, also, one more thing. I do suggest putting signs up like this to let people know which is which. So if they're looking for something specific like armor, they can just go here. So that's one of the stuff I like to do. Um, but yeah, I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys. I mean, just 
do whatever you want. I can't control you, but you know, don't <laughs> don't make me catch you selling something that is not worth a thousand because I will I will eat your ass. But yeah, guys, thank you, guys. Eh. But anyways, guys, I hope that really helped. Again, I'm not too good at explaining things, but, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what was that intro, though? Hey, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this helped. Again, I'm not really good at ex explaining things like this, but uh, hopefully this makes a bit of sense, and I hope you guys, you know, make some decent caps. So, uh, let me know in the comments below what else I should cover or what type of items I should find for you guys and hopefully I can make a video about it. You know, maybe I'll do a camp tour once I fix it up and find a better location for my fire department.